Good afternoon. My name is TF2 Public Ferret and my server prime with Dr. Frobisher Fanning. Good afternoon. And today we're doing our Halloween catwalk. Uh, you guys have been eagerly awaiting this and look at this lovely, lovely level made by a base squirrel actually. I mean this is amazing. Now with inbuilt uh, invisible walls so people can now do less dickery on stage. Uh, even actually if you kind of spot people on the walk uh, you will actually see like these purple lights come up every time they move past them. Um, speaking of which, who should we uh, send in first? Um, base, do you want to claim prerogative and go first? It's your level after all. Okay, so base scroll is going to go first. And base scroll comes out. Ooh, liking the lights. That's very nice. Got to stand still for us a sec. Okay, so he's wearing kind of like a hood with tongue out of it. Um, pretty much mostly standard gear for the moment, but nice little touch there, that hood. Yeah, it's all on the head, I think. The hood and the tongue thing are separate pieces. And here's Autark of Hellfire. He's wearing the uh, hat again. Also, he's got an Archimedes with him. Not bad, not bad. For someone who's Autark of Hellfire, it's a very wintry look. Yeah, it is a bit weird, though. Let's be Autark, and Autark is a winter creature. He is, to be fair, yes. Although, is that away? his Archimedes that's on fire? I don't know. But overall, I think he's wearing the extended medic robes as well. I mean, it's actually a nice uh, little design. He's part of the gunmetal set. It's, it's, it's good look for medic. And yeah, it does look like Archimedes is a bit on fire. Now, in any case, though, I think that's you know, a lovely set, though. It's so far one of the best things we've had at the moment. Nice work there from Autark. And there he goes. I wish you guys would rather not die on stage. He does leave Gibbs, but in any case, though, let's move on, shall we? And we now have Dark Demon. Okay, he's gone for a much more Halloween-y look here. I think he's gone for the vampire. Is that a vampire cape? Yeah, the vampire cape. I'm hoping it's the vampire haircut as well, but I can't see. He's not standing still. And also, he's. Uh, I think he's got a. He's got a zombie Archimedes. And also, oh, very nice touch. Soul. Yeah, he's gone very uh, Halloween for today. Yes, this is quite nice. I mean, that's a nice one there from Dark Demon. Actually, very good going. I mean, you've got to love that bone on the left arm there. You can just about see that. It's quite nice. And also, yeah, Archimedes really... acting up. Yeah, I think Archimedes is my favourite part of that. He's really gone for the complete detail. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice whole whole package there. Well, thank you very much, Dark Demon. Um, who is next? Okay, here's Tom. Okay, so he's going for a, another uh, bowler hat and Parker look. I think this is just Tom in general, really. That is Tom's standard look, yeah, but it is a nice look. That hat, I do love the effect on it. <laughs> yeah, that is, a, it is an odd hat. To be fair, you don't really want to think that, I uh, think, okay, here's the box taunt. <laughs> I, love the, I love the effect through the box. Yeah. I love how the effect matches the catwalk as well, the lights y on it. Yes, it does. It's actually quite strange, but, you know, nicely done there. Um, <laughs> you can see right into the box, and into his groin. And, oh, lovely, just got the taunt there. And he's an Australian um, ambassador as well, nice. Overall good package. And here goes Zydran. Okay, what does he have? Well, I think he's... Is he wearing, like, uh, some sort of um, Oculus Rift gear with a Bills hat? Uh, yeah, that uh, eyepiece is new from the Invasion update. Ah, what's the, uh, what's the uh, general other gear? I mean, he's got a sort of uh, a, um, ammo vest or something. Yeah, I think the ammo vest might be older. I recognised it before. I'm not sure what the hat is. Is that a Bills? That's a Bills hat, it's definitely. Although it could be the revolutionary hat. Actually, no, it's the revolutionary hat from... Um, because of the hair on the back of it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's from Tropico, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, you've got dog tags and everything. It's a good look, actually. It's a nice, energetic-looking scout. And is the duffel bag a... Uh, is that scout generic, or is that... Um, the what? Is that duffel bag a generic scout, or...? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's generic scout. But overall, though, it's a good look, though. I mean, yeah, nice work there from Zydran. That's that's pretty good. And oh, lovely Conga entrance. Uh, this is Ghost of Fast though. Uh, loving the hat and that beard. Oh my god, it's a lovely combination. And you got the broom and the skulls. Okay, so we've we've got your your, your wizarding um, half wizard, half cowboy almost. Half wizard, half cowboy. It works. And the cig and the cigar as well. That's a lovely touch. He's like, the most, he's like the most butchers cowboy for Halloween. And he's got a Necronomicon as well. He's got a spellbook page at least. Uh, yeah, overall, it's a weird, nice look. Um, yeah, half cowboy, half magician. All badass. 
Yeah, it's not a bad look. I mean, where's that hat from, by the way? I'm not sure. I don't recognise it, but it really suits a sign of Vampire Slayer look. Yeah, he does look kind of Vampire Slayer-ish. Yeah. And here goes Flaming Idiot. What's this? Right out on stage. And he's got, looks like he's wearing some sort of, like, scarf. Um, it's a very wintry theme again. Another gunmetal update theme. He's also got the booties for it. He's also got that mining lamp hat. I think that's one of the older uh, engineer hats, isn't it? That one? Yeah, I know Team Bacon Scar. That's kind of their trademark hat. Yeah, that's theirs. I mean, he's also got the lounger there. It's very nicely done, actually. Over, uh, and also a ducky. Yeah, the little uh, duck journal. Dresses the heavy. Very yeah, nice. This is very, this is very much a gunmetal one, this one here. I think, yeah, he's the first hat for Angie, and it's a lovely hat, actually. I mean, even I saw it for the first time. I was like, oh, it's got a little light on it. Oh, very nice, very nice. Oh, what pistol is that, by the way? Is that a special one? Oh, still flaming at it. Is that? A sp oh, I can't see it now. Anyway, there it is. Yeah, okay, that's, a, yeah, that's another gunmetal pistol as well. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Here comes Panic Police. Oh, he's got. Okay, we've got Demo Man this time. Necro Smasher. Uh, that's definitely a Halloween weapon. And he's using. He's got the cop hat on. And oh, the special old-fashioned dynamite! Oh, lovely Uber there. Um, that dynamite, though, that's an old. If you if you know TF2 from his beginnings, that was going to originally give the Demo Man his weapon, so they brought that back. He's got the peg leg as well. He's kind of a weird cop Demo Man of Halloween. Like he looks kind of. He, he doesn't look like the um, blunt version of Blade, like the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, blunt blade. And also, he's got a nicer uh, gunmetal um, thing there. Weapon. I do like that skin. Yeah, it's a good skin. It's reasonably good. Ark, are you on the stage? No, you're not. Get off the stage. In any case, though, let's move on. And let's go. Okay, Gummy's back again. Sorry about that. We had a little recording problem. And here he is with a uh, lovely pyro ensemble. Now, in any case. Okay. Yeah, I do like the... Uh girly theme there with the cute suit and blonde hair. Well, to be fair, Pyro's always been a little bit creepy, hasn't it? Yeah, and there's a lot of... Uh, no one's really sure what gender he or she is. Yeah, and again, the pool. Uh, with the duckies on the outside, you see the little team logo. Duffy, Ducky. Ah, those duckies. Yeah, Ducky is 10th class confirmed. Look at your neck. Um, yeah, there's a little um, wraparound thing as well, so you can't see the py Pyro air intake. You know, overall, very nice. Very nice. You know. And the balloon unicorn. Yay! Whole variety of very exciting taunts. Yes, very nice, very nice. Thank you very much, Gummy. Here we go. Okay, oh, now this looks a bit more formidable here. Yeah, this is yes. a Scottish warrior set with the. Oh, that's the, that's the big haunted armor, to be fair. Lovely charge. Now, to be fair, that does look proper badass Halloween. It does. It's, uh,. Tommy Boone's demo night, the look we all know and love. The thing is also, he's got the hood with it as well. And, and you know, proper Scottish look. He looks like a badass Scottish man. He does. I love the hood. Well, like, can we not Uber him so much, please? We're trying, we're trying to see the detail. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. Very nice, very Kinda nice. Kind of wants me to see a Scottish Assassin's Creed game. Scottish Assassin's Creed. Navy off the stage! That'd be amazing. Oh dear, already we're starting to tell people to get off things. <laughs> but in any case though, um, lovely work there from you know, Creepy Room. That is an impressively nice bit of kit. Oh, and the sheen on the sword I just noticed. Mm. Alright, okay. NC Ghost next, here we go. And there he goes, okay, Medic, firing guns everywhere. He's got an Australian. Very nice. Is that the Australian Blood Saga or Syringe Gun? That is, um, I think that's a Blood Saga. Illuminated for your pleasure. And like, is that a Stout Shaco thingy for, I'm not sure, is that like a parade hat there? And his little mask as well. I love the matching uh, medic symbols on the two of them. Yeah, they are quite nice to be fair. They're a bit disorganised, I mean, it's a bit unusual. Stand still with you for a second. I'm trying to get a look around And yet, it. that chest piece is uh, Halloween restricted, but I don't know why. Yeah, I think I think for this, you know Frankenstein thing, he's got a little goodie bag on the side as well. Actually, he's got a little Halloween basket 
Overall, it's a nice little package. It's kind of halfway Halloween, halfway something else. Overall, it's quite okay. And here's Ark. He's got the um, wizardy hat. Or is that is that a special wizardy hat for this? Because that doesn't look the uh, other hat. It's not the regular wizard hat, no. No, because that's the Muzok one. It, it's pretty much become one of those things in TF2. If you wear that hat, you're trying to be, oh, oh, oh. Well then. Oh wow. Okay, he's gone. Um, timed out. <laughs> We'll have to get him later, I guess. What an amazing time to time out. Okay, here goes Minardi. Oh, now that is a classic right there. The Headless Horseman's head take a look. He's got the axe. He's got the pumpkin head. He's got the generally haunted vacant arms and legs look. That is lovely, actually. Yeah, he has got the full set. I mean, he's gone for all the detail, even including the cape. I mean, here's the thing, right? You guys should probably go into like the event for that. And just charge at people, and people wouldn't be on the way. Like, Fight is him, and you know you could scare people with that. Properly. Oh, that'd be so funny. Yeah, that'd be great. That's a lovely complete set there. Yeah, that's the thing you got. You got a mild, well, well done ensemble there. Excellent work there from Minardi. You may be taking best costume for today. Okay, here's Ark. Right. All oh, right. Okay. Now he he's gone for the vampire set again. He's got the um oh the hat. Which the one team captain. Called? The team captain. Yeah. Overall, that is a qu it looks reasonably um, daunting. There's the Ubers again. And you've got the little bottle as well. Very nice overall ensemble. Now, very nicely done. Very nice. Okay, here's Truth. Oh, we've got Heavy at last. Okay. He's gone for the Dovahkiin. Sandwiches and the apocryphists. Very, very uh, Skyrim y look there. Obviously, the Skyrim helmet and that beard. Skyrim look, the beard. It also has got the um, checkered vest kind of look. It's a bit uncoordinated. And he's got, oh, he's got a uh, iron curtain. Lovely gun. You have to have a uh, poker knife for that. Yeah. To be fair, that's the um, same jumper that I use. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, a little bit uncoordinated, um, you know. So I think the thing we like to see with the fashion sets is, you know, better coordination. But overall, not bad, not bad. My client just crashed. Oh dear. One. Okay. And there he goes. Oh, disguising and undis what? Going invisible and on invisible. Uh, he's gone for the full uh, bedraggled uh, spy look. Yeah, with the um, spy Halloween soul. Nice work there. Festive, festive gun and oh yes, nice rock out. But yeah, overall not bad. If you could stay visible for and stop, can you not Uber him, please? We're trying to see him and it's really hard. Can you please stay visible? It's a lot easier to see you that way. He's got the scarf, he's got the hood, the general soul. I have to say though, to be fair with the spy one, he looks a little bit too good. He looks like a hobo more than dead. Yeah, it is hard to make the spy, you know, look dead. Yes, overall, very nice job there from White Lightning. Okay. Any case, here comes Baldy Dog. And Another dead-looking soldier. Yeah, that's a proper fashion look right there. Um, He's got the, I think he's got an MVM rocket launcher. Yeah, I love the um, touch on that using a uh, bloodied-up skull on it. Yeah, Robot and skull for the Halloween. Well. Yeah, overall, it's a good look. Very Halloween-esque. I, I love the um, touch on the Halloween Soul Soldier with a reference to the Meet the Pyro episode. Yeah, I think he's... Um, yeah. Because it has the hole right through the back of him, as is shown at the end of the clip. Yeah, that's excellent. You can see through that. And, okay, there's a nice little broom there. Bordy Dog floating around. The broom is a very weird thing. Oh, do you play Quidditch in this Halloween update? Oh god, a Quidditch Halloween update. That needs to happen. Yeah, I thought that's what was happening, because it almost seems as if that's what they're aiming for right there. But in any case, though, lovely work. Thank you there, Baldy Dog. And we'll get on with our next Okay, and this is Ice Age. Okay, come on, Ice Age. On stage. Okay, alright, okay. We've got a bit of a medic bad boy here. He's wearing a hat backwards. And the um, quadrangular piece, I think it's the quadrangular, the big collar and computer thing on his arm. Ooh, okay, that's not bad, not bad. 
Okay. Uh, can you not Uber him? We can't see the detail. And that's an awful lot of nodding. Yeah, I mean, actually, I like the arm piece, actually. And he's got the little, um, kind of... He does look like a hood medic, really. He does very sort of gangster, yeah, with the uh, mask, face mask and backwards hat. Yes, hood medic. Very nice. Thank you very much, Ice Age, for presenting that to us. And now it's time for Lonely Bandicoot. Okay, let's see what you got, man. Oh, okay, very nice. They're conquering onto the stage, and is that lime green dynamite on your chest? Lime green dynamite, yeah. You don't see painted dynamite. He's got. I wasn't aware it could be painted. And also, he's got the he got the pirate thing. He's going for ghost pirate, I think. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah, and then he's downing a nade and some beer. Very nice, very nice. I'm liking the pet. Yeah, ghost pirate. I mean, if he had like the tricorn hat, that would go really nicely. There we go. Thank you very much, Lonely Bandicoot. Okay, here goes Zero Source. Um, I think he's gone for a very classic engineer look, actually. Welding he has mask. a welder's mask, and yeah. Welding mask, beard, a jag. Um, I think he's also got the other alternate um, engineer top on as well. Yeah, very sort of blacksmith look. Yeah, he's gone for... And also that unusual, that's very weird. Oh, God. The purple cloud is very I actually got a little bit of a jump scare, because I went towards it, and a skull just appeared. Like, oh, bro. <laughs> Whoa, I just saw that too, yeah. <laughs> Very Halloweeny touch. No, I, I'm a bit sensitive to faces, so yeah. Oh god, that's horrible. The way it flashes as well. Uh, but in any case, though, that's a lovely one there from Zero Source. Uh, thank you very much, Zero Source. Uh, let's see who gets next. Okay, here comes Fat Fairy. And ah, oh, yes! We have to have one every catwalk. We have a pretty Princess Portis. Ah, oh, yes, the heavy oh, princess yeah. look. Oh yes, this is an absolute classic. You gotta love the tiara and the butterfly wings. Yeah, he's gone full out. He's got the whole set. I mean, which that. I believe has additional voice lines. Yeah, he does actually as well. It was also he's got the Halloween voice on, which is weird. <laughs> he sounds weird, fat fairy. I'm loving the jiggle physics in the skirt as well. Yeah, does it jiggle? Oh, it does. Yeah, it goes up and down. Okay, here comes on. And is that what? That's not a gibbous. That's a proper hat. Oh, what? Is that a spooky. Oh, my. It's see through. Yeah, Ooh. translucent green gibbous. And he's got, like, the Halloween costume on. Actually, yeah, the way I... he does that dance with that as well. He looks like he's from Thriller. And oh he my god, does. the Zappy pistol! That's oh, amazing! Wow, the Zappy pistol. Yeah, I love the um, skeleton arms as well, which we now can't see. Oh, get off! Stop Ubering him, damn it! What's yeah. that flying around him? I don't know, it's like a scary Halloween soul, but yeah, overall it was a lovely weapons package. But overall, I think, yeah, very, very nice um, addition there. I'm loving that hat, though. And yes, yeah, the uh, traditional taunt once again. Any case, though. Okay, here comes GBK. And box taunt for the win. Okay, let's start here. I think that might be his costume, just a box. <laughs> just a box. Well, think that GBK is Cap a great Cap fan of that. Well, thank you for coming in, Capulaputis. Okay, there he goes. Oh, oh, he's gone for the full snake. Oh, oh wow. yeah, no, I can't be mad at that. That's good. Is that a festive knife, or is that the black rose? No, I think it's an ordinary knife. But overall, that's a lovely package. Yeah, I was not expecting that to come out of the box. It was <laughs> it complete was snake look. It was actually snake coming out from the box. Yeah, amazing. And he's even got the epaulettes as well. Now, in any case, though, I mean, that's, that's a lovely one there from GBK. Okay, here comes Spooky Master. And, oh, he's on a broom. Oh. He's got, he's got the full uh, haunted soul. That hat looks nice with the glasses. Actually, that's overall quite a nice little, nice little one there. Australian wrench as well, or is that a golden wrench? I'm assuming it's an Australian wrench. If it was a golden wrench, we'd all be going nuts over it. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, those glasses, I really like those. Oh my god, he's got one of my favourite little um, Halloween cosmetics on. The engineer on top of an engineer thing. 
the light on top of his head. Oh, There's... the bumper cart. Yeah, he got the bumper cart engineer on top of his head. That's amazing. I know everyone hated the bumper carts last year, but you can't hate that hat. Oh, that hat is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that is an amazing little hat. So it's basically an engineer controlling an engineer who is also already dead. But in any case, uh, thank you very much for that spooky master. Now, who is next? Okay, now it's time for Oki. And once more, it comes out cloaked. So we can't actually see what he's wearing. Or is he just the invisible man? Ah, oh, we're liking that, uh, ha that face, though. That skeleton face is amazing. I think it's the alien face, is it not? From the invasion is that, update. Is that alien face? Or is that... No, I think that's the yeah. Halloween face. But I'm liking the conservative look, though. I mean, actually, I think do think the bedraggled spy look looks better in blue team rather than red. Um, but yeah, overall, though, I am liking it. I mean, with the top hat really suits, I think. Oh, oh spy crab nice. finish it off. Yeah, very nice. He's trying to spy crab. Ah, he's the um, blue tuck man. Yeah, blue tuck man. Very nice. He's trying to spy crab. I think that's all you can get from you, man. Sorry, man. And one last little taunt. Okay, there's enough from you today. And okay, there goes Senpai. I think he's gone for a much more classic Japanese look. I think we hit better with a half Zatoichi, but you know. Undead Samurai look. It's okay, it's not bad. Is that a beard of some sort? Yes, it is a beard. Yeah. I and think now he's oh, dead. He exploded, but his corpse didn't. Mm, just on stage. Um, well, we can still look at his corpse. Uh, okay, that will get moved at some point, won't it? Ah, uh, well. Um, basically, his boy is already dead. Um, don't worry, it'll, it'll fade in time. Okay, Miasmic. Oh, oh, this looks good. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, I think he's got the alien helmet, hasn't he, or something? That's and a complete laser look. Yeah, alien look, sorry. Alien, Halloween alien look. He's got, like, yeah, the, the helmet bit. Uh, he's... Is that a uh, dispenser ghost? Dispenser ghost! Oh, it looks amazing! And he's got the zappy pistol. Oh, very nice, very nice. Here comes okay, Star Moon. So. Okay, he's gone for... Oh my god, he's got the um, crown. I think that's the Dota look, isn't it? That's that Dota um, player thing. And he's got that crown as well. Oh my god, undead, undead king there. That's... Very nice. It's very skeletal to me. Yeah, very skeletal. That's a nice look. Um, you know, Dead Man's pulling off very nicely at the moment. And that little ghost pet thing. Yeah. I can't excellent. work out what it is because it's moving around too fast. Otherwise, I think it's the monkey from uh, Doomsday. Okay, here goes Putis Jenny. And also another haunted dispenser look. And I'm liking... You guys and your police hats. You really love your police hats. Well, to be fair, I think a very bland, bit of a bland look, but you got to love that dispenser ghost. That is, I never knew that was a thing. Is that new from this update? Because I, I think, need to get one. Oh, the thing is, actually, hang on. Do some taunts, Pooter Jenny, because I think the dispenser taunts with you. I know it just smiled. Yeah, that's it. It, it smiles according to your... St hold, stand still, damn it. <laughs> right, do a taunt or something. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it smiles now when you do a taunt. Try to say something I negative. Need say, say no in chat or something. Or, I know. <gasps> it frowned! Yeah, it frowns! So basically the dispenser ghost actually mimics your uh, mood. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. That's lovely. <laughs> oh. Say help, say help, say help. Oh, it looks sad now. Oh my god. Oh, oh anyway, in any case, I think that's enough for, from that now. Um, anyway, so, uh, can you please move your dispenser? Or at least destroy it. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Pootis Jenny. That was a lovely demonstration. Okay, here we go. That's Grenaut. Ooh. He's going from Moon Man. Oh my god. That's actually a lovely bit of get up there. I'm loving the um, fire footprints. Oh, really? Oh, that's lovely, Husqvarna. 
Uh, but I think he's gone for more Moon Man style today, actually. You can look at the uh, thing. And, oh, look at the spray on the, that thing. Hold, hold still, hold still. Oh my god. He's got a ferret in like a... Um, that's amazing. Space theme. That is a fantastic spray. And also, I love I'm loving the helmet as well because it's a space... And also, the uniform, I think, is... Is that from Alien Isolation? I know the flamethrower is. Yeah, I think so. Is it green flames? Oh, it's yeah. amazing! That's one of the um, Halloween spells for the flamethrower. Oh, that's awesome. I have to say, Huskernaut is really, you know... I think Myasmic was the... Um, the uh, what was it? But yeah, he's seriously contending for best dress today. Right, and here we have Empire of the Sun. Okay, he's gone for more... He's gone for the pimp hat look. Very green. Very Matching green. shoes. Okay. Are those the All Star shoes? Those are quite expensive. Last time I looked. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going for the. Pi he's also got the Freedom Staff as well, the most blingest looking weapon in the game. I mean, that actually looks better now. I think with the Australian stuff now. So it does, and the um, specs from the Poker Night game. Yeah, I mean, he does look like a pimp. He does. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, here comes Pedro and reverses onto the stage awkwardly. And what's this? Oh, has he got his little bird hat on? It's uh, Medimedes, I think it's called. Where it's the Archimedes head, but for the medic. Oh, I love that. Oh, the little turn as well, he does the taunt. That's amazing. Also, that scout bat thing. How to taunt GBK indirectly. But yeah, overall, though, it's a lovely package. I do love the animal heads on uh, yeah. the Mercs. They do look really good. Yeah, I think actually's overall a very nice ensemble there from Peridot. Nicely done, sir. And moonwalking on a broomstick. Yep. I think, um... There we go. Okay. Katowski kick. Okay, if you'd like to come out, please. Um, there we go. And... Air humping backwards. Air humping. I think he's got one of those hat. I can't remember what hat is. And an Australian sniper rifle. Overall, it's an okay little package, but... Yeah. It's all right. I'm not sure whether that's the Cloud Nine or Circling Hearts effect there, but I do like yeah. the heart effects. Overall, it's uh, it's okay. It's not bad. Anyway, thank you very much, there, Sandro. <laughs> and try and space yourselves out nicely, if possible. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Come on, Oki. You, you, you're disguised. You've got to undisguise. There you go. Okay, here they come. I've never seen so much uh, Kototsu kick at once. So much Kototsu kick. And so it's happened to Uber Fashion X, but I think there's a timer over there. Overall, I think it's been a really successful catwalk. I mean, some, I mean to be fair, Minardi's costume is amazing. Um, who was the I other think one? my favourite still goes to, what is it, Huskronaut? Huskernaut, yes, I think Huskernaut means it for today. I mean, excellently done. Okay, now, that, now they've got to turn around. This is going to be difficult considering that. Oh, oh. oh, no. This was not planned. This was not what choreography was hoping it to be. Turn around. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. We've got, we got kamikazes on stage. And as is tradition with this serve, it's quickly devolved into everybody killing each other. Well, I guess that's another end of a catwalk. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for turning up. So I was being a bit mean, but with our rules, this kind of thing. But overall, we had a lot of fun, I think. Um, except for Peridot, who was whose laptop is apparently dying. In any case, though, thank you very much, guys. I'll let this up later and hang around for two seconds as we get going to Halloween map and have a nice little commentary. Yabby.